So, um, and to get out of here, we are going to have to, the help of Brother Muris. Uh, we also have lots of other friends here, like this, this hammer haunt, uh, that zombie you see over there. Uh, another zombie there. I think there's an apparition wandering around over there somewhere. So, um, yeah, it's pretty spicy out here. And there's definitely gonna be some combat this episode, uh, inevitably so, I believe. Um, so, this might be maybe possibly the least chill episode, uh, ever. I think I said that at the beginning of the last one. I've probably said that on other episodes too, but for real, like, things are gonna get spicy here, so, but, um, uh, hopefully, hopefully we can keep things somewhat chill, regardless of, uh, whatever, uh, undead we might have to battle or run from. Okay, now seems like a decent time to creep forward here and hear from Brother Miris. Welcome to the majestic and splendid Hammer Cathedral. Majestic and How splendid. pleasing to welcome new initiates into our fold. I am Brother Muris, and I will be thy spiritual guide. I see that thou art tired from your journey, so I'll leave thee be. But if thou needst my help, I can be found down in the cloister. We will need his help. Okay, so we're gonna have to find him down in the cloister. Oh gosh. Oh man, we're gonna be making liberal use of the quick save and quick load buttons here. <laughs> uh, which are F11 for save and F load, or F12 for load. But I'm pretty sure. <laughs> the classic. I forget, but not really. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that's what it is. Um, oh, one other thing um, is that I did uh, turn up the gamma a little bit in an attempt to brighten things up a little bit. Uh, some of you were complaining um, previously, and rightfully so, that the, uh, uh, the video was very dark. Very dark indeed. Uh, for whatever reason, it seems to get darker in the recording, and even darker when it gets uploaded to YouTube. I think it's something to do with gamma, the way they process gamma. So I'm hoping that this is a little more visible for you guys. Uh, you know, I want it to be dark and moody, because that's how it's supposed to be, but I also want it to be, uh, you know, I want you to be able to tell what's going on at least a bit. <laughs> okay, I'm stalling here. Um, so... Um, um, you know, I discovered something interesting. Um, I was reading up, actually, on these guys' apparitions and on hammer haunts because I knew we were going to be facing a bunch of them in this mission. And, um, something kind of interesting is that they are susceptible to the sword. So watch this. Big power strike backstab. And another one. Oh, look at that, he's gone. That's all it took, he's gone. Um, and the hammer haunts, which are the ones that make all the sounds with the chains and such, are similarly susceptible to uh, power attack backstabs like that. So that's going to be what saves our butts here, because uh, otherwise there's no way that we can, you know, navigate these areas. So let's, um, let's save. There we go. And, um, and we're going to bear that in mind. So I think we're actually just going to wait for that other hammer haunt to come on by again. And we're going to try and, try and return him to death. <laughs> from his undead state to a re-dead state. Now, unfortunately, unfortunately, zombies are not susceptible in the same way. I believe they will go down if you hit them with a power attack, backstab attack, but uh, they're just in a dormant state. They'll get up again if you walk past them shortly thereafter. Um, um, they're really only way to deal with them, as far as I know, is holy water, holy arrows, um, which I think we did acquire some of, actually. I think we might have a little bit of holy water, but, um, okay, we're gonna try and deal with this guy here. Here we go. Oh man, there's 
are scary. These guys are really scary. Look at that. Just like that. Easy peasy. Okay. I don't know if I knew that once upon a time and had forgotten it, uh, or if I just never knew it. It's not really intuitive, like you think about it. Why would a ghost be susceptible to a sword? But I guess it is Constantine's sword, so it's kind of special. Magical. Um, zombies, though, yeah, I, th I think they might go down, but they're not out uh, when you hit them like that. That said, they're also really dumb and very slow, so I'm not too worried, truthfully. I'm just going to try and leave this guy behind here. And uh, hopefully he just loses interest in us. Okay. We're definitely going to be yeah, making heavy use of those quick saves. Okay. Let's see what we have These to do. stairs have seen better days. Uh, there's Brother Miros again. I think he probably has more to tell us. Aha, our newest acolyte. Thou seems to have gotten thyself into some trouble, hmm? And from the you looks of thee, I'd say thou art used to trouble. Well, I can help thee escape this desolate place, if thou wilt help me with something. Gosh. Since thou clearly camest here to collect things, and we don't get attacked while we're listening. Some things from me. All brothers have rosary beads, so thou need some too. Thou can borrow mine. I think I left them in my room. I remember that it was so nice to look out over the fountain in the garden. So be a good lad and bring me my rosary. Oh, okay. I <laughs> like how he's like, you're here to collect stuff, right? Yes, collect stuff. Cloisters that way, okay. Um, so he thinks we need rosary beads, I guess, for some reason. And he wants us to get his uh, old ones. And he gave us a hint there. He did say he used to enjoy looking at the fountain, overlooking the fountain from his room. Oh, zombie. Is he going to come this way? Looks like. <sighs> come on, buddy. Can you just not? Is he still searching for us, maybe? Maybe he's the same one from before. Drats, can we get back up here? Mm, seems not. Okay, we're just gonna have to run past this guy. Um, what's this? St. Yoras. Uh, I don't know what St. Yoras is about, but... Well, for the moment, we've lost the zombie, so let's just save. Uh, I thought I saw something here. Oh no, let's just... Oh crap, there's a zombie again. Mm, let's go upstairs. Oh, this is some kind of sarcophagus. Spooky vibes. Oh, we've got some water arrows here. Good. This zombie just does not take a hint. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, wow. That's, that's quite a few zombies. I mean, that's two. Just three whole zombies when I add them together. Far more than I want. Okay, let's... Uh, nothing up there, eh? Let's, um... Get back outside. I think that should help us lose them. Okay. Uh, let's maybe go this way. Well, let's just crouch in the, the darkness here for a moment. Take this opportunity to save. Okay. What a 
I was trying to say is I'm pretty sure Brother Muris was telling us that his chambers were overlooking the garden or there was a fountain and I think that's actually where we killed that apparition before. If I uh, open the map here, we can see that this is the cathedral that we came from. The eye was situated right here. We started today's episode right there. That's where Brother Muris talked to us. We came out into the garden here. We dealt with the apparition and the hammer haunt. The fountain is right there. So Brother Muris's room with the rosary beads must be up here. That is in St. Yoras, so actually we can get there from where we are right now. We uh, then came down here, down these broken stairs, heard from Brother Muras again right here, then uh, came up these stairs, and we were just kind of derping around in here a moment ago. So if we work our way over to this side, overlooking the garden, we ought to find the rosary beads. Uh, also worth noting, we've got... Uh, this gate to the right of us here some place called St. Janelle's St. Vale's a cloister gate and the cemetery oh and St. Denner's is this building right ahead of us I suspect we're going to have to remember those names I guess Brother Miris might tell us to go places oh, there goes dumb zombie okay you know what, let's try something out here. Let's see if we can, in fact, uh, lay him to rest, at least temporarily, with a power strike from behind. Because it would be nice to not have to, like, bother with him anymore. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of zombies. Uh, there are way too many zombies in this place. <laughs> I don't know if they'll follow us in here. I don't know if they saw us. We can look around for some loot while we're in here. Oh yeah, they saw us. Too bad. I hope you guys like the oh gosh, oh boy, the relaxing groans of the undead, because uh, this is zombie groaning ASMR all up in this. That's just gonna be today's episode. Okay, so we know there's a couple of zombies in here. Take this opportunity to save. Uh, we did grab the water arrows there. I guess this must be St. Yora. Uh, that would make sense. That the building would be named after the saint that is interred here. Okay. Let's put our sword away. I don't think that's really helping us at the moment. I guess this is a bed. This is a pretty ghetto bedroom. But sure. Well, I guess, you know, it was probably nicer before the event that led to oh, this place becoming haunted. Okay. So, maybe we can... Why the copy so many zombies? Ah, rats. Ow, what? Oh, he vomited on me. Gross. Let's see if we can light this guy out. Oh, uh, we missed him. That was kind of buggy. It's like it, it didn't connect somehow. I think this is Brother Miris' room. Um, you know what? We'll just roll with it. We got barfed on by a zombie, but it's probably okay. Uh, rats. I don't think they know we're here, so let's uh, pull out the lockpicks and see if we can do this from like across the room. No, we have to be closer. We're in the shadows here. Oh, we were in the shadows. Eh, whatever. Boy, oh boy. These zombies. 
browser repeats. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, can we get out the window? No. Nope. I think they heard that. Uh, can we get out this way? I bet you there's more zombies this way. Let's save. I'm honestly saves coming. Also, as is tradition, my tummy is making lots of gurgling sounds tonight. So, I hope you're ready for the tummy grumbling ASMR as well. Zombie groaning, tummy grumbling ASMR. This is the quality content you come to this channel for. Crap, zombie. Crap, zombie. Crap, zombie. They can't get me up here, I don't think. Oh, crap, that... Gross. Ew. I forgot they can vomit. That's probably worth a quick load. Honestly, I don't really want to... Don't want to, uh... Take that damage. Gosh, this place is such a warren. That's a really creepy picture. Okay, let's just, let's just load. Let's just load. Okay, so, uh, the zombie came from back there. There's one up here, but that's okay. We're just gonna... Oh, I don't think he saw us. Maybe this is a place to save. We're, I think, in a more advantageous position here. Because we're in the darkness. It's probably a lot of loot that I'm ultimately gonna have to leave behind here. Because I don't really wanna have to deal with all these zombies. Oh. Oh. Where the heck did we just fall? Okay, we fell down to the first floor. Oops. Oh, crap. There's, there's that guy. Well, that's alright. We can manage with that guy. Uh, there's a health potion. Oh, there's a book here too. What's this? <laughs> Let's pause to read while that guy shambles towards us. Kind of him to wait. The priests shall no longer doubt their decision to give me allowance to convert the unused storage room in the winter tunnels into an alchemy laboratory. This day my research hath yielded much, as I have created a most useful explosive device. It is my belief that in times of war we will be able to use such explosives to force open the gates of the strongholds of our foes. The device is quite dangerous, so I have stored it in the armory in the cathedral attic. Right, so, uh, you might remember, maybe, in the last episode, uh, there was a door in the attic of the cathedral, which we could not open. A reinforced metal door. So, that is probably what this is referring to, and I have a funny feeling we're gonna have to get in there. Okay, meanwhile... Oh, two zombies. Oh, three zombies. Ringing around the rosy. Clang. Okay, uh, we were down here before, weren't we? Yeah. Let's go this way. Right, the creepy room. Uh, there's some gold there. Let's, uh, duck out this way. We just kind of have to keep moving, you know? So as not to get... Oh, this is the way out here. Okay. We just gotta keep moving. Uh, so the zombies just get confused. That seems to be the trick. It's not how I like to play the game. I really like to be able to methodically clear an area. Uh, just a plate. Eat it. <laughs> um, I like to be able to methodically clear an area, but sometimes the game just forces you into, yeah, just constantly moving. Oh, really? Another one? Body. Um, but you know what we got? What we came there for? Hey, it's Miras again. Hello, brother Miras. Ah, what a wonderful looter thou art. 
Thou hast found my rosary. Stand in the shadows here. I have some other things for thee to do as well. I needs for thou to get a holy symbol. This place is not as holy as it once was, I'm afraid. Yeah, so I noticed. thou might have a hard time finding one. Yeah. Thou canst always make one for thyself in the tenor factory. We do it all the time and praise the builder for his works. The factory. Okay, where the heck is that? The tenor, St. Tenors. The tenor factory. So I think we gotta head out here and around the corner. Looks like there's a door right there. And we might have to forge ourselves a holy symbol, which would probably be, in the case of the Amorites, a a hammer, right? Also, let's uh, let's just do a proper save here. Uh, why do we have two? We can probably overwrite this one. That's fine. Um. So yeah, let's let's go to Saint Denner's. Now I know there's baddies out here. We saw one coming by earlier. Oh, there they are coming down the. Are they gonna turn around? Are they gonna come through? They're gonna come through. Uh, so we can deal with these haunts, but not two of them at once, I don't think. But maybe we can just. Oh, yes, let's. Okay, yes, 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 yes. No, stupid dog. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, the factory. Big hammer symbol. Should we go try and deal with the other one? I don't know where he is now. Oops, I didn't mean to open that door. I meant to. Okay. Oh, actually. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, three of them. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, they're gonna find... They're gonna find the other guy. Oh, this is real bad. Okay. Uh... Did they find their fallen? Yeah, they sure did. Oh god. Oh god. Scared. I'm just gonna stay right here. Ah, poops. Okay, that's uh, that's a load. That's what we're gonna have to do. Oh, is that where I? No, wait. Sorry. Let me load the quick save. Is take this guy and do this and do this and do this and stick him somewhere that they're not gonna find him. There. I doubt they're gonna find him here. Wait, what? Oh, that was weird. That's weird. It's like they they can almost see me, <laughs> but not quite. But okay, I'll hold quiet for a moment. We're gonna save. Jesus, nerve wracking, you guys. And we're gonna come back in here and try and deal with this haunt. Oh, he's gonna see us. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Well, the 
this this spot is okay, I think. Ish. Okay ish. Okay. There are way too many of these mofos around. Saved last time. Rats. Oh man, this is gonna take us forever, guys. Forever, forever, forever. Why do I keep loading that one? I need to quick load. Quick load. Uh, what's the situation in here right now? What's the sitch in here? Okay, we've got a guy in here, it sounds like. Okay, what if we do this though? Maybe we can. Right, right, we got this guy before. Oh, there's a guy right here, a zombie, I think, but he might not see us here. Not sure if he saw us or not. Is it safe? Merciful silence. You know, I, I just remembered we did have that episode a couple of episodes back where... Okay. Oh, okay. Here comes, here comes a guy. Uh, let's see. Okay, the zombie needs to F off. Uh, whatever, buddy. Whatever. Uh, we had an episode. Stop it. So it's back where the alarms were going off the whole time. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, and um, that was not very relaxing at all. So, you know, at least this is maybe, maybe more relaxing than that. Nah, probably not actually. So I did notice that, yeah, this guy comes through. Okay, let's... Let's take advantage of this. Oh, but there's a zombie coming in as well. Oh, and... Apparition. I mean, 
this corner is safe at least. This is a very handy little hidey hole, but there's just so many of them together. The problem is, when they're in groups like this, when they're on their own, we can deal with them, but when they're moving around in like groups of three like this, patrolling all together, this becomes very tricky. All right, let's be patient. Let's, let's just wait. Let's just wait here and hopefully one of them ends up on their own soon. Zombie leaving. I think there's someone in here with us still. Somewhere. There. Okay, let's, let's wait for that guy to, to head on his way out. Zombie's gonna head out now, maybe. Zombie's gonna head out now, I think. I think we just, like, wait in this corner forever until... until we have our opportune moments to strike. It's a pretty boring way to do this, but... it's been our most effective tactic so far. weeks going. Weekends, I guess. Well, by the time you're watching this, it's, I guess, a new week. Actually, I have no idea when you're watching this. You might be watching this years in the future. What's the future like? Okay, I don't know. This has not been super useful. Um, naturally, as soon as we step out of here, gonna run into trouble. There we are. <laughs> Zombie saw us. He's gonna puke on us, isn't he? No, maybe not. Well, what? What? Did I just behead this guy? Uh, I guess so. Why can't I seem to hit these guys at all? <sighs> Pointless. Waste of my time. I'll just keep waiting in this corner. No, let's go out. I'm just too impatient. Oh. He's not coming in here. <laughs> you can't 
can't see me. You can't see me, right? Oh, you can see me. Sometimes it's so hard to tell when you've actually been spotted. <sighs> Boy. This is... this is... the darkest timeline. I don't want to keep waiting here. It's very boring, but it is honestly our most effective tactic. Um... I guess we'll just wait till another hammer on comes in. It could be a while. Patience, Iago, patience. Okay, there's that hammer on. Right, this happened last time, didn't it? Or maybe the patrols are, are not all predetermined. Maybe they're semi random. zombie coming in though and uh you know how I feel about zombies okay let's just see let's just try this let's see if we can put them down there okay so yes we can which is good but we can't pick up his body or anything and we're gonna have to go down that tunnel so that was actually kind of pointless because he's gonna get up again when we go past him again, but nevertheless, at least we know that we can do that now. This looks like, uh, yes, there we go, elevator. Okay. But let's go back up the loud stairs and see what's up there since there's no one in here right now, so it's nice and available for us to explore without alerting any bad guys. I just love the vibes of these areas. It's so cool. They look neat. The visual design, the level design, the audio design of this game still amazes me all these years later. Okay, fire arrows. Now, those are uh, an option. We can actually use those to deal with some of the more stubborn enemies. This must be uh, Saint Tanner, right? Um, and, um, yeah, we can use those. 
um, but they're kind of a last, last line of defense option. They're quite loud, you know. I think it takes, well, one or two per, per baddie. Shovel. Oh, do we have to get in there somehow? Maybe. Okay. Oh. Oh, this brings us outside. We gotta go in that way. That's good to know. Look at that moon. Oh yeah, this is that courtyard where we tried to 1v1 that hammer hunt. That was, did I seriously just, whatever, dump, quick load. Well, let's just step back outside and see what else is out here. What's the point of this? Just a storage room, I guess. Okay, well, I guess... Just take us. Dead end. Oh, that's that's the window when we were up at uh, St. York's or whatever. St. Yora's. We uh, we looked out that window over this this alley. Okay, really nothing out here except for yeah, better way in. Nice to know it's here. Okay, but really, I think we've kind of done what we had to do up here, which was nothing, really. We just got those fire arrows. Um, we can head back down, and we can try and make this holy symbol and take it to Brother Miris. Let's go. Oh, right. This guy. Uh, if we run past him fast enough, he might not notice us. I don't know. He noticed us. Um, but he might be too dumb to come after us. He might just go about his business. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Whatever, buddy. So these look like uh, casts, like molds for various things. We've got uh, one, two big levers. Is the zombie really going to come in here? And we've got something on the, the wall there which looks like instructions. What if he just left? That would be great. Um, Probably gonna have to take one of these molds and put it on here, I think, and then dump dump the metal in the molten metal. Uh, let's read though. So, step one: position one of the molds on the four pegs in front of the smelting cauldron. Step two: push the left lever back to close the mold. Step three: pull the right lever forward to dip the cauldron. When the gauge on the wall indicates that the mold is full, tip the cauldron back up by pushing the right lever back. Step 4. Pull the left lever forward to open the mold. Remove the newly manufactured item. Builder be praised. <laughs> okay, I think I can do that. So we want a holy symbol. Oh, a key. That could be useful. What do you think that's for? Okay, well, we'll do, we'll do, what do you think that is? I don't know. Okay, but this, I think, is what we need. This looks like a hammer pendant, so let's, good. We'll close the mold. Okay. Uh, gauge on the wall, probably this one, right? We need to get into the red zone. Let's go. We dumping. We dump it. Okay. Did that... Was that enough? We'll find out. Ah, there it is. Holy 
symbol. Perfect. Okay, but uh, what else? What else might we might we make here? What do you think this is? Interesting. Yeah, we can see they're different in our inventory. Let's see what this makes. Looks like just a rod of some kind. Dumpy dumpy. Goes up pretty quick, doesn't it? Wonder what happens if we don't stop it in time. my prayer book. Prayer book. Novice, please go get it for me. It's called the Prayer of Consecration. I don't have any idea where I was last reading it. Seriously? Like, no, no hint at all. The Prayer of Consecration. It could literally be anywhere. Freaking heck, guy. That's pretty rude. That's pretty rude. Okay. Well, um, there's lots of places we haven't explored yet, so let's start looking around, I guess. It could be literally anywhere. Uh, let this guy go past. Okay, he's going in there. What is this building? St. Genos. Um, oh, I forgot there was, there was the elevator in the other building that we didn't take. This is a bathhouse, I guess. This looks like the kind of place, uh -huh. One might find water arrows. It's hard to see them under the water, but... Nice, 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 nice. Okay, that's good. Um, what we got? What we got? What we got? Um, oh, latrine. Okay, probably not anything we need to think about. But we could head down. I wonder if 
this is connected by like a tunnel to uh, the factory. Should we go down or should we go out here? What's out here? Nope, just a long, narrow, I guess just the gap behind this building, right? This is probably the way out. Yeah, this is starting to come back to me now. I think that's what that is. Yeah, okay. Okay. No oh, more zombies. Let's uh let's head downstairs here. We should check out that building though as well. It could be in there. But let's go down and see see what we can find. Okay, I hear a hammer on it. Not sure if he's down here, but probably yep, there he is. Okay, well, we know how we deal with hammer haunts, right? Oh, uh, this is a cellar. But I guess not the wine cellar that we have a key for. Uh oh, you might have seen us a little bit there. Random skull. Oh. I think he saw. Oh, he definitely saw. <laughs> fast. Very stealthy zombie. 
I don't think you saw this, but... Do you wanna just... Here, let's do this. Might as well, right? If we're lucky, we won't have to go back that way and bother him. Uh, and that's one less zombie shambling about for us to have to worry about. Okay, these tunnels are more extensive than I thought. Do you think this comes up under the... or in the factory? See where this goes. Okay, now we're in Saint Janelle's. And um we managed to get in here pretty sneakily. Each of the saints has different kinds of arrows next to them. That's kind of fun. We've got moss arrows here. Now there's undoubtedly zombies in here, somewhere. Oh, do you think this might be the key? The key that we made? No. Lockpicks. Oops.
helps us though. Unless we can like get out there somehow. I don't want to get squashed. <laughs> Let's try opening the ceiling, the roof again. Let's see if we can get out on the roof maybe. Of course, these are not the original textures. These are from the mod, the HD texture mod that I have, so originally they would have looked different. Oh, I don't think we're supposed to see out here. Well, it's a cool skybox. Yeah, we're definitely not supposed to be out here. was my stomach again, making funny noises. Okay, this is pretty buggy. Let's get back inside before we break everything. Okay, um, we'll leave that for now, but good to know. We might have to come back at some point. Funny, you know, there's sconces for a torch here. Torches. One, two, three, and there were, there was a fire arrow there. I wonder if there's any reason to light them. That I do not know. Okay. Oh, this must go up. Yeah, to a second floor. What's all these doors about? What are all these doors about? Are these... What? Cells or... Like penance chambers or something? Oh, we got a zombie coming. We'll just let him go by. Oh, or not. Hello, zombie friend. Like, this is really unfortunate. He's gonna barf on us, isn't he? Okay, that was pretty funny, though. He kind of just ignored us. Zombies are very dumb. Uh, I don't really want to deal with you, bud. Was there a button on the wall? Can we can we take this up? Sadly not. Okay. Well, I guess we just have to go back down here. Okay. Um, I guess we maybe did what we had to there, I don't know. Well, it's good to know that that's, oh yeah, that guy. Um, that's there if we need it. Uh, so what's this way? We haven't been up this one yet, have we? We have to call it down first. And then take it up. are very slow as it clips through the, the button box. a guy's journal or something. Brother Muris shakes fist. Okay, 
let's just go in the front door see Janelle's here because we actually haven't been in here yet the book could in fact be somewhere around here you never know when there might be a secret behind a banner it's always possible Just a wee bit. I really want them to make a new Thief game, but in the style of the old Thief games. You know, not like the reboot from 2014. I want a respectful... Oh, wait. Oh, what's all that? Oh gosh, zombie. I don't know if you saw us. Um. Yeah, there's no way to get in there from here. I'm gonna quick save. And, uh, just cause... Nope, okay. You gone. Um, yeah, it'd be so cool to have a game that's like true to the gameplay of these old ones. Here we go. Here we go. Um, but that, you know, has modern graphics and all that. I just love the atmosphere so much. That's just some treasure there. Okay, let's see if we can...
thou art a naive novice at times. The craftsmanship of the holy symbol thou hast created is not flawed. Thy problem is that a mere initiate such as thyself cannot perform the blessing that implores the builder to transform thy symbol from a simple metal into a holy artifact. I wouldst suggest thou ask one of the priests to bless thy holy symbol for you, or it will be of no use. If thou art embarrassed, thou wouldst visit the observatory at the top of the tower in St. Janelle's, and talk to the brother Renault. He knows of another way to instill holy symbols with the builder's blessing, which we have in fact done ourselves. So that's good, we've been there, done that. Interesting, there's a whole second level up there, but we can't really get to it from down here easily. We might be able to jump and grab on though. There we go. Now, um, oh, the prayer of consecration, finally. O oh, Master Builder, we ask thee to bless our brother who hath died in thy service. Forgive him the transgressions of his living days, and look with favor on his works in thy name. Plumb and plain, fire and forge, purify his spirit, and draw from him all which does not meet thy plan. Take him to serve with thee in thy home, where he may rest in peace eternal. Um, okay. Well, that zombie is not a problem. Um, I'm just trying to take a peek and see. Scanning to see if there's any loot treasure to be had on the other side. Doesn't look like it. So I think we got what we came here for. So let's save. Let's take this back to Brother Miras. Back to Brother Miras. Um, just leave the zombie behind the door. Uh, okay. Oh. Seen fails. See ya. Uh, so this is right here. So I think we've kind of explored everywhere here except the cemetery now. There you are, Miras. Who would have thought back then that an unsavory character such as thyself could be my salvation? Thank thee for getting that book for me. Should I be insulted? I need to find a candle I used when I was still alive. The last time I remember using a candle is the night of my death. I was in the workyard, where the well is. My personal possessions were hidden, but I think the candle is back there still. Okay, well we know where that well is, actually. Uh, that might not be too hard to do. Uh, because we found that well earlier. There's a candle hidden back there, apparently. Okay, okay. Cemetery is that way. Right through there. Um, oh, we can't actually get up this way. We gotta go through the factory. I kind of assumed we'd be able to get up there from this side, but no. No, no. That would be too easy. Not sure how long this episode is as of now, but I feel like we maybe, possibly, are gonna be able to get through all of Brother Miras' crap here. Okay, so here's the well. Where would his candle be hidden? We looked in here, there was no candle. on top. Oh, I think that might be it. Wow, that 
that was easy. And some loot as well. Okay, that's great. Alright, Miris, we've got your candle. I don't want to jinx it though. I, it might be a fair bit more yet. <laughs> and if this episode is getting long, we might have to we might have to wait for another one. I would kinda like to get this done though. Yes, and that is the candle I was using to see the night I died. It will do for our needs. I see that thou hast all of the items we need to perform the ritual of consecration. Meet me at my grave in the cemetery. Okay, the cemetery. Oh boy. Um, okay, let's do it. Maybe this is the last thing. I'm really hoping. cemetery key. It's actually kind of brutal if we didn't stumble across that cemetery key. We'd probably just be stuck trying to get in here, not know where to go. Let's do a hard save. It's been a while. Okay. Although if this is the final thing, then I don't know why we would have to bother with the uh, all that, uh, like blessing the holy symbol. Wow, he really told us to come on in here. And there's just zombies everywhere. That's pretty rude. God, zombies are dumb. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if he knows we're here. I just want to deal with them. Oh, frick. Gosh, the barfing is so gross. Let us begin, my friend. <laughs> Wave the rosary over my tombstone. Okay, I think he just took a little while to spawn, and he was supposed to spawn over here. Rosary, okay. Place 
place the candle. Okay, this is a little buggy, but okay. I'm just gonna run in circles to avoid the zombies. Okay, the prayer of consecration. <laughs> Ask me to bless our brother who has died in thy service. Forgive him the transgression of his living days, and look with favor on his works in thy name. Plum and plain, fire and forge, purify his spirit, and draw from him all which does not meet thy plan. Take him to serve with thee in thy home, where he may rest in peace eternally. Okay, touch the tombstone with the holy symbol. This is getting ridiculous. Where's out? Stupid flies. I'm trying to figure out. I'm going through my inventory. Blessed holy symbol. Okay, touch his tombstone with it. My soul is finally free. Acolyte, thou hast saved me from eternal unrest. But I don't need to help my friends for Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys heard any of that, but what Brother Muras was saying, I'm pretty sure, is that we have to go rescue Brother Renault, who died in the cellar of the cathedral. I think I remember finding him down there. <laughs> and then let's let's get out of here because uh, this is not a good place to be there we have a lot of healing potions at least all right let's go please go get the body of brother no and place it in his grave okay so there's Brother Renault's grave, and we're gonna have to go get his body and stick it in there. And his body is in the basement of the cathedral. But we're gonna have to do this with at least one other body as well, because, uh, uh, as you saw, there was another grave there. So, um, this video is getting pretty long, I think, and I think I'm gonna have to end this here. We might end up with a, like, a weirdly short episode next time. Oh. Man, I really should have probably popped the holy water over. Okay, you know what? You know what? These, <laughs> these zombies really. What I should probably do is just pop holy water and then murder them all next time. I just want to go somewhere that I'm not going to get attacked by zombies. Okay, they appear to be going back. Thank goodness. My stomach agrees, thank goodness. Um, yes, what I was trying to say was, I think I'm going to leave it here. Because, um, I gotta get some sleep, truth be told. And, um, we may end up with a, a slightly shortened episode next time, but we'll just have to see. If that's the case, we can always end one and then start the next, maybe next time. We'll just have to see how it goes, but... My friends, thank you for coming on back for another episode of Thief Gold. Thank you for putting up with uh, the long wait in between. Uh, thank you for uh, putting up with the saves coming in this episode. And uh, all the uh, groaning, moaning zombies and such. I know, I know it's not traditional ASMR in the slightest, but I hope you enjoyed it. Nonetheless, I guess you must or you wouldn't keep coming back and you wouldn't keep reminding me when it's been too long and it's time for another Thief episode. This is where I traditionally say, hey, I'm going to try and make the next one sooner and I'm going to say that again. I will try to make the next one sooner. I would dearly love to finish this game with you guys. Um, but as always, uh, hold me to my word. <laughs> if 
if it's been too long, uh, feel free to start leaving the comments and, uh, and prodding me, uh, you know, on the streams and such. Alright, thank you all again for watching, my friends, and I look very forward to having you back here next time, Taffers. Bye for now.